All right, Billy. So this is in from the front door. Front door walks here. I'll actually show you what the roof looks like outside so you have an idea as to what we're talking about doing. We've got this. We've got a couple lines in the roof. Basically, the wall that we're talking about taking out is this interior one with the orchid on it. That in there is all kitchen. So, as I bring you through, I'll sort of walk you through the scenario that we're talking about. Tell me what your thoughts are on the matter. So we come in, and immediately you've got this wall is the one between us in the kitchen. I went upstairs and it does look like there are some structural elements to it, so it's not gonna be as easy as I originally thought. There are joists that are running perpendicular to that wall all the way to the wall, and then on the opposite side, they're running parallel. So that's a switch somehow in that mix, and I would think that that would be the, uh, the structural elements in there. We've got a cove ceiling, so we're kind of dealing with that. But and we've got some ductwork that comes right down into here. So that wall is not as far out as that wall. So this is the kitchen aspect that we've got. We're in the dining room now. You can see sort of what it looks like. But basically, as you walk through, you've got this kitchen and this is the wall that we're talking about taking out. But the wall only goes to about here because as you see outside, the edge of the house comes to right about here. So that means that right from about that way, over to here is what we would take out. We'd take out that arch, do a finished sort of cove look up there, and then all of this would be out. If it's structural, you tell me, but I would think that we would need to put a post right up here and some sort of beam along this. I don't know. You tell me what your thoughts are on the matter. But right now the layout is really awkward because you come into the kitchen and then you come all the way back and you've got this. And that's it. We've got a ridiculous lofted fridge. You've got two registers underneath. Now this is hot water registers. It's heated by hot water. Um, or it's heated by gas and the hot water gets circulated throughout the pipes. That's the main source of heat in this house. We don't have an AC and heating uh, system with ductwork. We have another vent over here, which I'll show you um, from my video upstairs in the attic and then the one that's on the opposite side over there on the opposite side of that corner. So this should give you a pretty good idea as to what we're dealing with. Got those windows. Ideally what we're talking about as of right now without the measurements being done. We're talking about just some sort of pantry look here, little countertop, refrigerator, more cabinetry, have the sink over here, not in the corner, have a Lazy Susan set up in the corner, sink over here, open that up, have a range top there, and the dishwasher um, would be kind of almost right where it is now. Back in this area, we'd take this refrigerator out, we'd move it away. We'd use that whole indented area, which um, seems kind of like an interesting structure. And that would be where we would put a double oven. We'd finish that off. And essentially, the main idea is that we'd cabinets and we'd have a bar top coming across here, maybe a split level, that would come out to just right about there. So it would take place of this wall and open up the kitchen to the living room. 
And that's sort of what we're dealing with. Let's connect as soon as you've seen this video and we can discuss more about the, uh, the scenario and tell me what your thoughts are on this mix. If it seems like this taking out this wall would be way too much of an endeavor, then we might be open to opening up a, uh, like a little sort of pass-through window, lengthwise pass-through window in there, um, which could work, but it's less ideal. We, either way we cut it, we want to do something about this kitchen because this layout's just ridiculous and it's very old and dated anyway. Right now we've got the sink, there's a garbage disposal, we do have dishwasher. This is an electric range, so I don't know that we have gas to uh, stub to this area. I don't think that we do. We have gas in the house, definitely, because we, uh, that's how we heat our, the hot water for, for the heating throughout the house. Um, and that's what I've got. So let's connect. Give me a call when you have a chance. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Billy. So we've got a couple spots right here. This right here that I'm shining the light directly on that line right at the end of the joist is where the wall comes up. So it does, I don't know, it looks to me like that would be structural and we'd have to figure something out accordingly. You've got these things that come down, point right there. Comes over, but basically it comes right along that line. And this does look to coincide with a wall down in the basement. So we might need to put some sort of post up here, some sort of beam managing that. Um, my guess is that right where the light is, right around, actually right back there, is probably where we would start taking the wall out. All the way from there to, I don't know, probably about seven feet along that route right there so anyway this is what we're dealing with this is the upstairs attic we've got these coming over it looks like they're structurally holding up right there so we'd need to do something else to take care of that right on the opposite side over here doesn't look like much. And then there's an air handler right here. But, and then duct work goes all the way out and over and down. So yeah, right along that is what I'm estimating is the, uh, is where the actual need is for structural integrity. Let's connect and chat. Tell me what your thoughts are on the matter. You can see over there, we put in some recessed can lamps. There are six of them actually, they're two over. And that's in the, uh, the living room. So anyway, this is what we got. Thanks so much, talk to you soon.